Hello, this is Bridget Rowe with Divine Essentials. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You can be Sagittarius or you can be asking about a Sagittarius, okay? And you can be on either side of this, really. Um, this may be how you feel about somebody, uh, but most of the time I find that it's it's usually how somebody's feeling about you, but it, you know, however it resonates, it resonates. I've had a lot of people asking questions recently about how to, like, view these types of readings. I'm not big on, like, you have to be, like, your sun sign, and sometimes I've noticed with my sign, you know, like, I have Taurus for my sun, Capricorn for my rising, so sometimes I'll notice, like, there'll be a few weeks where the Capricorn readings resonated more so than the Taurus, but then all of a sudden it, like, shifts back up, and all of a sudden I'm back on Taurus. Also, whatever energy we're under can influence us, so, like, right now, the new moon is in Scorpio. Maybe there's messages in a Scorpio reading for you. I also kind of just go to where I'm drawn, like, with anything in life. So if you see a title that resonates or screams out to you, there's probably a message in there. Um, sometimes the timestamps, like a video was 22 minutes and 22 seconds long, there could be a significant message in there for you. Just pay attention and go where you're guided. Try not to get caught up on all the little details and things. And if this reading doesn't resonate for you, maybe there's something else in a different sign um, within your chart or just, again, like I said, for whatever current energy we're in, okay? So just take it as it feels appropriate, and if it doesn't feel appropriate, then maybe another time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hang around. I'm going to be doing more of the sexy dexy pick a piles um, after this one because now we're done with all of the signs for this this round. So the overall energy that's coming through for you guys is Pedalite, number 42. Pink Sapphire on the bottom, number 44. So you guys could be seeing fours a lot. I just noticed that it was 444 right before I hit the um, record button. So that may be something specific for you guys right now. I'm only going to read the energy of the Pedalite, but I just, you know, like I said, messages are always there for us to see them. You just got to open your eyes, pay attention, and trust. So maybe look into what Pink Sa Sapphire has to say for you. that You can Google that on, on Google. And number 42, Pedalite, we're just going to grab the little relationship message, and then I'm going to use the tarot to find out how your person's feeling about you and things like that. So, number 42, Pedalite. The essential message or meaning of it is witnessing the observer, an ability to detach the impersonal quality of the universe. The relationship part says, there are times when you're emotionally too close to a situation to come to a real conclusion. It's also possible that what is really going on can't be seen by analyzing the details and guessing at the motives for someone else's behavior may be triggering you. The way forward is to step back, do nothing, and observe the dynamic between you and the other person. Soon everything will become clear, and by you becoming the observer, you'll find that you didn't really need to do anything to change the situation. It has a life of its own, and it's offering you a valuable lesson. Sometimes we want to fix something right away when all we're invited to do is to hold space and listen. All right, guys, so this is something that I say all the time and has been coming up a lot recently, you know, um, especially last week where there was like that impatience surrounding like, when's my reading coming and when, when are you going to do this sign and when are you going to do that sign? And actually Sagittarius was one of those ones that was asked for in that way. So whatever's happening, guys, right now, try to, try to lean back. I tell you guys this all the time, especially... If you're a feminine, the feminine energy is one of recepting, okay? And we all have feminine energy inside of us. And it's a nurturing, loving, receptive energy. Masculine is the one that, like, pursues, protects, provides, and, and goes after things. So right now, you know, you may be, like, wondering, like, what is up with this person? Why did they do this? Why did they do that? Why won't they do X, Y, and Z? And instead of being in that energy... You may just need to kind of step back and allow yourself to like, you know, detach a little bit and then see what comes of it, you know. And when we give space in that way, a lot of times we give the space that's required for those people that were wanting to do something to do it. Because if we're like block, like it's that same concept, like when people are wanting me to do a reading and they come at me in that energy, it blocks me from wanting to do the reading. So if you're going towards somebody in a relationship and you're really wanting them to do something Sometimes you can block them from doing it. 
Okay, so, and think about yourself, like if somebody, like if you're going to do something and then somebody's like, hey, do that, do that now, 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 and they harp you, it makes you like, you know, aggravated and not want to do it. So just try to, try to be in that perspective of the observer of whatever the situation is trying to show you right now and go into the deeper levels of things, okay? Now that could be just in any area of your life. This is just the overall energy impacting people at this time. So let's see what your person is thinking about right now, Okay. I have justice, all right? So whoever you're asking about, they could be in a marriage, they could be in a karmic situation, but I also feel like they want balance, all right? They want they want justice in their life. This is, you know, all things coming together. You could also be dealing with, you know, um, court cases and things. It was really funny today. I finally got news back on two separate settlements, and I was like, wow, like two completely different places, both emails came in today within like within like an hour of each other. So that type of stuff could be going on right now. And again, you may just need to kind of lean back and allow for it to come because, you know, there was that energy in the past of like waiting and waiting and waiting. And as soon as you stop like waiting for it, it shows up. Sometimes we need to pursue things, but I feel like this is your person thinking about having justice in their life. They could be, you know, dealing with something big and that may be why they haven't been available to, to be like 100% available to you or maybe why they've been pulled back from you because there's stuff going on. But again, the message in there was also try not to analyze why they are aren't doing something because there may be details that you don't know. Maybe they filed for a divorce and there's a lot of shit that's going to hit the fan. And if they're out talking to you, maybe they're going to lose all their money because sometimes when you go through a divorce, if somebody can prove that you were cheating or thinks that you're cheating... That can get people in trouble, you know? So that that seems to be something that's here. It's like this person wants justice and balance in their world. And you guys could be having justice and balance coming into your world. But you've got to be in the right vibration for it to come. And just kind of like sit back and allow yourself to be in that, that energy of trusting your intuition and allowing your love to flow. And I'm also feeling like your person may feel like you're the one that's going to love them. You know, like they, they enjoy your love. They enjoy your, your like ability to kind of hold them and love them in that way. But sometimes they may not be open to it because of whatever's going on. Maybe they have to finish a divorce. Or maybe they have something karmic that's taking up all their time. But I definitely feel like there's a secret. And I feel like for some of you guys, the secret is that they're leaving something behind. They're leaving behind a marriage or they're leaving behind something that has blocked them from being able to come towards this love with you. All right. So that could be for those of you who are dealing with somebody that's married. For those of you that are dealing with somebody that's been like dealing with alcohol like issues or maybe they're a gambler or maybe they just have really toxic beliefs or whatever. I feel like they are getting ready to walk away from that stuff so that they can have balance and they can have love in their life. And it, it's like they may not want everybody to know about it. They may not want to like broadcast the fact that maybe they were addicted to something or, you know, that they made the wrong decision in, in some way or that they're going through something court related or that they're going through a divorce. So try not to get all wrapped up into like, why are they so distant? Why are they so quiet? What's going on with them? Because underneath that may be this beautiful thing that's transpiring and that message just came through for leo as well that we could be seeing things in the darkness is heavy right now that shadow energy is heavy the moon the subconscious our fears our darkness people outside of us trying to like sabotage and things like that there may be big things that go on right now and we look at it in a way of like, oh no, but then it catalysts us to our justice. It catalysts us and spirit is like the guiding light there. And it's it's like, oh my God, this big nasty thing that I thought was going to be so horrible. You look back, you know, a month or two later or a year later even, and you're like, wow, if that didn't happen, I wouldn't be able to be where I'm at now. And sometimes we need to be the observer and just allow for these things to transpire. And like I said from the beginning of this, pay attention to what spirit's showing you because I feel like there's there's all these signs being shown to you that everything's okay but you could be allowing a little bit of fear to come up to the surface you could be allowing insecurities to come up and in there may be no reason to be doing that you know there may be a lot of things happening that are going to lead you towards fulfillment and justice and balance all right so yeah we got the six of wands this is I feel like this is Victory. Sometimes when I see it in this in this card, though, it's like 
it gives me that feeling of like somebody that wants to like have victory but in order to get there they may have to like kind of like eat their ego a little bit you know like bite on their pride and decide to make a change and it may be the change that you've been waiting for so like if this person um, owes you some sort of apology or, you know, ha you've been waiting for them to walk away from something. I feel like their pride or their ego may have blocked them in the past, but now they're starting to, you know, swallow that and find the strength to break out of these things that have been keeping them from being able to show up as that king of pentacles, somebody that's ready to be loyal, committed, stable, that provider, that protector, that, that true divine masculine, you know, powerful vibration. This is like a high value masculine energy. So I feel like somebody is finding the strength here to do like what probably what you've been waiting for them to do. But again, there's that message of try not to get all caught up into what you're seeing in the physical and trust what's going on underneath the scenes. All right. But I definitely feel like this person is finding the strength to leave behind whatever it has been that's not been so wonderful that has kept them from being able to give to you balance in a balanced, equal way. Probably took a long time, but I feel like Whatever transpires here, it's going to start speeding things up for you guys to go into that place of justice. So how else is this person feeling and thinking when it comes to you right now? So we've got the magician with the two of wands on the bottom. I feel like this person is going through a major time of transformation. They've collected or collecting all the tools that are required to make this future for themselves. They're planning. They've made. I feel like for a lot of them, they made the decision... And now they're putting into place the plan that is required to leave behind whatever has kept them from their justice and their balance, okay? So if they've been married, you know, that, that requires a lot of planning and transformation and collecting of the right things in order to go towards your justice. So again, whatever you're seeing out on the outside, try not to get caught up in it because I feel like you could be causing, you know, conflict in this energy that doesn't need to be there. You know, you could be looking at things as like competition and feeling like, oh, they're married and they're with that person and blah, 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 blah. Or, oh, they give all their time and their energy to this, but they won't talk to me. But it may just be them having to go through something in order for them to come towards you for a valuable new start. This is some sort of transformation that they're undergoing. And I really was picking up that for some of them, they just don't want everybody to know what it is that they're dealing with. It's like they're secretly, you know, fighting something and overcoming something so that they can become this, so that they can become the best version of themselves. And I know that, like, like for me, like, I was an addict in the past. Like, you don't want to let everybody know that, like, you're struggling and stuck within something that's gross and keeping you from your transformation, and so, like, they may be planning to leave behind something like that. Or, again, they may be embarrassed that they stayed in some sort of toxic relationship for too long or that they allowed their beliefs to keep them from something. But I feel like underneath the surface, there's a lot going on. Secretly, this person is transforming for a valuable start. And it may seem like nothing's happening or it may seem like they're ingenuine or back and forth or whatever. But I feel like... They do have this fire and this passion, this desire for balance and balance within the relationship, balance within their life and value within their life. And I feel like they look at you as that place that can help to heal this. All right. So for some of them, they're depressed. You know, they could be sad. They could really be like in that hermit reflective mode and feeling a lot of pain. They could also, for some of you guys, they could be healing from a divorce or healing from a karmic relationship or a toxic thing that they just went through. They could be embarrassed about it. You know, um, they may have had that awareness or that realization like, oh my God, I, this is so bad. And like, I don't want anybody to know this, or they don't want you to love them any less due to whatever it was that they were stuck within or whatever they were up to. So try to keep that in mind as well. But it definitely feels like this person could be suffering right now and healing whatever has caused them to maybe pull away. They could be in this real big hermit, you know, thinking about what they want for their future, planning for their future, making those decisions. But they're also in a lot of pain. But that doesn't mean they're giving up on you. It just means that they're in this time of reflection. And while they're reflecting, they're knowing that they want to bring this cup of love to this queen of cups. You know, they're, they do see this person as that that one that they want to be beside and I feel like again for some of them it's something that they have to kind of suppress or keep a secret but they know that you're their two of cups they know that you're the one that they want to make that offer to they're not ready to give up on it but for some of them they're healing from past pain for some of them they're healing for something that they just went through and for some of them they're figuring out like you know 
the plan that's going to lead them probably into this, which is still heartbreaking for people. Like if they have a family and kids, it's not easy for people to just like up and leave that and walk away. And that's going to hurt them. That's going to hurt their family. So this person probably has a big heart, but they hide it. They could also be somebody that's been drinking a lot and suppressing their emotions, like putting them under that surface, secretly, you know, desiring this type of connection with you, not wanting to give up on this connection with you, maybe even watching from afar. But when it comes to coming forward, it's like something has to transpire for them. They need to get out of that, that energy of fear or pain or whatever so that they can go towards this person that they see as being very valuable and sexy. So again, I feel like the best thing for you to do right now is to not get caught up on the out external world. Don't get caught up on like the dark, the darkness that's going to be around at this point because we do have shadow season upon us. And know that like whatever you're seeing may not be, you know, at face value. So try to and also I feel like this is also saying try not to like stare at it too hard, you know, be the observer, but don't like be like too like focused or super focused on things because that's when we start, you know, making up scenarios in our head that are wrong or we start being in the wrong vibration that takes us out of this like really magnetic vibration and it can make us, you know, almost like push those things away. But I do feel like this person could be seeing you as somebody very sexy, very warm, very passionate, somebody that they're wanting to explore their love with. Um, and this is going to be a theme over the next month as well because we get that, that heavy Scorpio energy, which is very passionate. So this person probably is going to have some of those repressed desires coming up to the surface and wanting to bow chicka wow wow and get all freaky deaky with the person that they see as their lover, as their counterpart, as their mirror. And again, I feel like a lot of them are making that decision in choosing the place that they want to go for their love, you know, knowing that that you are their two cops or you are their, their twin flame, their soulmate, whatever the label is. But it's like they're seeing that and they're deciding that that's what they want. But they just have to kind of clean up some stuff here before they can feel confident enough to make that that offer. Yeah, so it's like right now they're just looking at things from a new perspective. So they're in that observing mode too. It's like they're, I feel like those who are in that hermit mode, they're starting to see things differently, realizing where they were failing to make the correct decisions in the past, realizing who is the empress that they would like to be with or the emperor that they'd like to be with, depending upon your sex. And also, I think figuring out, making, like trying to make the right decision on how to communicate this to you or how to take action towards you without messing things up or without causing more chaos or more problems. But I definitely feel like right now is a major time of healing for this person. So again, it may seem like they're not doing anything. They're not taking action your way. They haven't, you know, said much or they don't, it doesn't feel like they care. But I feel like again, under the surface there, they're, they are doing a lot of things for this, you know, and once that stuff has been done, you may get an apology or some sort of authentic, vulnerable offer from this person. They just have to continue to clean up the mess, whether it's internal or external, something needs to happen. I feel like for a lot of you, it's just this internal stuff that has caused them to be guarded and blocked when it comes to you. And also, some of you guys could be feeling this way, like feeling like left out in the cold and not knowing. But again, try to not go there because I feel like even though it's taken a long time, something is happening big here and this person's getting ready to plant the seeds of potential for the future, the long haul with you. They just need to continue to clean up this energy that's surrounding them at this time. So let me get one more thing here. What's going on for this person? Like, what are they thinking and desiring, feeling towards you right now? Yeah, we got the Eight of Wands with the Five of Cups. So again... This person, I feel like there's been distractions. This is this could be drinking, this could be partying, this could be um, third-party situations, this could be, you know, their families, their beliefs, whatever it is that's been that thing that's caused an imbalance. I feel like they are sad. And for some of them, it's they're having a difficult time, like, turning around and seeing their way or making their plan to come towards their Two of Cups. But they also want to. It's like they want to take that action. They want to go towards you because they feel like you're that exciting, passionate, sexy woman or man that's going to love them and give to them the things that they're secretly wanting and probably secretly suppressing. And I feel like if they've come and gone out of your life, it's because they've known it, but they've had to suppress it. All right. And I definitely feel like 
they're just they're they need to get out of that low vibration and if you're in that low vibration you're going to be blocking them from being able to do it so be mindful because if it's your twin flame or your mirror and you're feeling this way or you're feeling like it's just taken for too too long or they're never coming back or they're never going to leave that situation that's what you're going to see that's what you're going to feel that's what you're going to admit and that's off, oftentimes what they're going to mirror to you or that's what you're going to see but it may not be correct you're just seeing something from your level of feeling rather than from what's truly happening okay so try to cut those things out and reflect in a different way and really i would focus more so on like what's going on for you loving yourself unconditionally and just trusting in what the universe is showing you for messages you know like if the universe keeps showing you the same thing over and over and it's not like you know like pay attention is it good or is it bad if they're showing you bad things then try to figure out what it's connected to so you can clear it up but if it's good things, trust it. Because I feel like for some of you guys, you're getting those synchronicities. You're getting all this confirmation, but you're doubting it. You're like, I don't know. Yeah, so they're saying don't give up. Just just know that right now is a time of healing. It's a time of slow, like you're on ice. But don't give up because that fire will come back. That passion will come back. This person is likely going to return with an apology. Okay? Or it may not even have to be an apology. It could just be that authentic, vulnerable love that they have for you because they see you as this valuable person in their world that's going to nurture them and love them in the way that they probably haven't received elsewhere. So get creative in how you're, you know, shifting your focus right now and even get creative in like how you're perceiving things. Like if you're constantly looking at the, at things as like, oh, that's bad. Try to get creative and start creating it in a new way. Like, oh, they did that because of this or they did that because of that. And I, I would try to stay away from that anyways, because that's what it said here. Like, Try not to come up with conclusions for why people are doing things and not doing things because it feels like for a lot of you guys, you're going to the worst case scenario. You're like coming out of this place of fear and instead you want to get creative and like start, you know, going to a good place where you've, you're finding like, oh, this is, you know, this is what needs to be done in order for this to happen and also having like that sense of just knowing that whatever's meant to be will be. And, you know, in a year from now, everything will be completely different from it is today. But you have to trust and allow for things to transpire. All right. So what I'm going to do is find out what to expect over these next four to six weeks with this person. Like, is this energy going to shift? Are they going to show up? Um, what are they desiring for you from you right now? What do they have to say to you? And then the outcome of these four to six weeks. So what's going to happen after these these six weeks are up all right guys so if you want to join me that link is down below if not thank you for joining me this far don't forget to like comment subscribe share the videos all of that stuff if you'd like to donate there's a link down below if you'd like to send anything off of the wish list there's a link down there for that as well thank you very much to everybody who does donate and send things off of the wish list um and yeah i think that's it i'm, I'm still taking a break right now from booking stuff, but I will, I will let you guys know, I, I'm going to be booking probably again in the beginning of December, um, and yeah, the link will be down below, in Munay, namaste.